Hi there and welcome to CI Hub. Today I would like to show you how the CI Hub connector simplifies the interaction of InDesign, Photoshop and Illustrator with cloud storage or DAM systems, even when you're working across teams. We are in InDesign and I'm adding content to this brochure. I'm connected to a cloud storage and to a DAM system and I'm going to place different assets from different sources. Let's have a look at this placeholder. I'm going to switch to my DAM system, select an image and place it into my layout. This is a Photoshop document coming out of a DAM system. And now let's place a native Illustrator file into the layout. Yeah, and let's place it on the upper right corner in the image. I think we're good to go. Let's say the image needs a color adjustment. So I'm switching to Photoshop and I'm going to check out the image from the DAM system. The Photoshop document is well prepared, so there is already a mask created to change the color of the shirt. So that's what I'm going to do right now. We'll change it into a gray. So I'm done. And now I would like to check in uh, the new version and replace the existing one. So I'm choosing uh, the current document, Photoshop document. Just leave a comment, click on OK. And the update is running. So the new version will replace the older one. So Let's switch back to InDesign. Now this Illustrator file is to be changed. I'm switching to Illustrator. And as you can see, we have the same unified user experience uh, through all our Adobe applications. I'm going to change this into 2000. And as I did before in Photoshop, I'm selecting the asset, click on update, leave a comment and click on OK and the new version will be created. So as you can see it is not necessary to download the assets, edit them and upload them again into the source system and the updated assets are immediately available to all users. Back in InDesign and of course we need to check the linked assets. This is very easy with the CI Hub panel. In addition, the CI Hub link panel provides a lot more information. As you can see there are two warning symbols which means that there are newer versions available. I can check each of them separately. With this little plus symbol, I am able to enlarge the preview of the newer version. And if I click on Relink, the newer version will appear in the InDesign layout. So the file is updated. And I'm going to do the same with this retouched image. Click on Relink and place the newer version. You don't have to relink each asset individually. So checking the linked assets can also be done in a batch mode. This means one click to check and one click to renew all the linked assets in your brochure. There are many more features and details in the CI Hub link panel but I will cover them in a separate tutorial. So far, so good. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please contact us at cihub.com.